All right, this is for my pre-calculus class, and this is a lab that we're solving trig equations with more than one trig function, and we're going to use identities, and we're going to do number 30. I just finished the video on 28. I'm going to skip 29 because 28 we used the a double angle formula for cosine of 1 minus 2 sine squared because there was sine in the equation. Up here, I'm mean, excuse me, down here, this one has the same double angle, cosine of 2 theta, but it's got cosine in the equation. So when I bring up my reference sheet, notice cosine has three double angle formulas. This time I'm going to use the cosine squared one because I'm going to use number two because the rest of the equation was in cosine. All right, so let's go back. I'm going to do this. I've got two, and now I'm going to use the two cosine squared theta. That's not a very good theta. 2 cosine squared theta, let's try that again, minus 1 plus cosine theta equals 0. So now I'm going to do the distributive property. When I do, I get 4 cosine squared theta minus 2 plus cosine theta equals 0. Now I recognize this is a quadratic, so I'm going to get it in the proper order. So it's, I'm going to just say 4 cosine squared theta. Move the plus cosine theta here, minus 2 equals 0. Now when it's set up like that, now I can start stacking and racking to do the quadratic formula. So I have a is 4, b is 1, c is negative 2, and d, when I do my b squared minus 4ac for my discriminant, I get a 33. All right? So I'm going to do cosine theta equals negative b plus or minus square root of 33 all over 2a or 8. So I'm going to extend this page a little bit. That's one of the reasons why I picked this one. Now we're going to do plus and minus. When I put the plus in, I get 0 0.59307. When I put the minus in, I get negative 0.84307. So when I draw my picture on this one, just so you can see, I'm going to do it down here so it's bigger. I have cosine where it's positive, and I know cosine are my x values. It's positive here and here. And then when I do cosine when it's negative, it's going to be here and here in quadrants 2 and 3. So let's do the positive one first. When I do inverse cosine and actually put the 0.59307 in my calculator, I get 54 degrees. So 54 degrees is right here. And then the other place where it's positive is I'm going to do the 360 minus the 54. And when I do that, I get 306. So there's two angles that go with this one. All right. Now this is the negative one. What I want you to remember is I don't put the negative in my calculator. I put the positive. So when I do that, I put that in my calculator, I'm going to get a reference angle for the negative ones. And when I do that, I get a reference angle of 33 degrees. But remember, it's my reference angle. It is not an answer. So in order for me to do this here, I'm going to do 180 minus 33. And when I do that, I get 147. And then I do 180 plus 33, I get 213 degrees. So let me put those here, 147 degrees and 213 degrees. So there's only four angles here. Let me box them. I've got these two here, and then I have these two here. Remember, the 33 degrees was just there to use it to find the reference angle. Okay, I hope that helps you with setting this up.